A man with a demonic soul wants to catch a little boy who is a descendant of demons. This man seeks to catch the demon descendant child to prevent himself from becoming weak. Meanwhile, another powerful figure, who has been possessed by ghostly powers, swears to save the boy because if the boy is not saved, the world will be filled with evil forces. This is a battle between a good demon and an evil demon. The film begins on a day in Eastern Europe. A man named Moro enters a secret church. He meets with the church leader and asks him to move a child who is there to a safe place. However, the church leader refuses because he believes the church is the safest place. Moro warns that there is no safe place in this world because it is the devil himself who wants the boy. Suddenly, a group of armed forces attacks the church. A man named Ray Kerrigan leads the force. Elsewhere, a woman named Nadia escapes from the church with her son, Danny. Moro intends to save Nadia. However, Nadia does not trust him and continues to flee with her child. Kerrigan, seeing Nadia escape, immediately pursues her. On the streets, Moro tries to chase Nadia, but Kerrigan chases him and manages to crash into Moro's motorcycle, throwing him off. Moro then returns by shooting at Kerrigan's car until it flips over. Elsewhere, after making a deal with the demon Mephisto, Johnny Blaze travels the world to find out how to remove the curse within him. Johnny wakes up in his hideout. Suddenly, someone enters his hideout. It turns out to be Moro, who had previously survived. Johnny immediately asks Moro what he has come for. Moro knows that Johnny has made a deal with the demon and turned into Ghost Rider. Moro tells Johnny that he can help remove the curse in Johnny's body. The condition is that Johnny must help him save a child named Danny. The child is being targeted by the demon who gave Johnny the power of Ghost Rider. If the child falls into the hands of the demon, then the world will be in danger. Moro tells Johnny that his Ghost Rider instincts will lead Johnny to find the child. Somewhere in a crowd, Nadia and Danny work together to pickpocket a man for money. They then leave. However, Kerrigan and his crew are still tailing them. At night, Johnny attempts to summon the spirit of the Ghost Rider within him to track down Danny. On the streets, Kerrigan manages to corner Dadia's car and stops it. Meanwhile, Johnny finally succeeds in releasing the Ghost Rider from within him and goes in search of Danny. Kerrigan finally manages to incapacitate Nadia and catches Danny. As Kerrigan is about to shoot Nadia from behind, Johnny, was by then transformed into Ghost Rider, appears. Kerrigan immediately orders his men to shoot but to no avail. Johnny, now possessed by Ghost Rider, goes on a rampage and turns Kerrigan's men into ashes. Suddenly, from behind, Kerrigan shoots Johnny with a shotgun and blows him up. Kerrigan quickly takes Danny away with him. The next day, Johnny woke up in a hospital. As Johnny walked out of the hospital, he realized that the person who had brought him there was Nadia. Elsewhere, Kerrigan calls his boss the devil, who possesses a human body named Rourke. He informs Rourke that Danny is now with them. However, Kerrigan is angry because a fire skull monster is now pursuing him. Rourke then whispers something into Danny's eater. This causes Danny to scream until he faints. It turns out that Rourke made Danny untraceable by Ghost Rider. In front of the hospital, Johnny immediately realizes that he can no longer track Danny's whereabouts. He then approaches Nadia. Initially, Nadia does not believe in Johnny, who can turn into a fire skull. However, Johnny explains that he is a good person who does not want to harm Danny. Johnny only wants the curse inside him to disappear. Johnny tells her that he can no longer track Danny's location. He then invites Nadia to meet a friend who might know where Kerrigan has taken Danny. Along the way, Nadia tells Johnny that she used to work for Kerrigan. She then asks why Johnny can turn into Ghost Rider. Johnny shares that when he was younger, he was forced to make a deal with the devil to save his father's life, even though it was all a lie. Nadia then told Johnny that she had done the same thing herself. Once, Kerrigan tortured her until she was near death. Suddenly, the demon approached her and offered her a deal to save her life. In return, the demon implanted its offspring within Nadia's womb. That is why the demon so desperately wants Danny because Danny is the offspring of that demon. Later that night, Danny tries to escape by flipping the car Kerrigan is in. However, Danny sprains his ankle, making it easy for Kerrigan to catch him. Elsewhere, Johnny tells Nadia that the ghost rider inside him comes out when he senses evil nearby. Johnny instructs Nadia to stay away when that happens because the ghost rider cannot be controlled. He then takes Nadia into a nightclub where a boxing match is taking place. Nadia meets someone and realizes that this person had just contacted Kerrigan a moment ago. Hearing this, Johnny's body starts to react. Johnny forces the person to reveal Kerrigan's whereabouts. If not, the ghost rider will burn his body. The terrified person informs them that Kerrigan is currently in a mining area. Johnny immediately leaves, mounts his motorcycle, and transforms into the ghost rider. In the mining area, Kerrigan had already ordered several bazookas to be ready to fight against Ghost Rider. 
Meanwhile, inside the room it turns out that Nadia is already there trying to free Danny. However, Kerrigan's men blocked Nadia. With great difficulty, Nadia managed to deceive and shoot that person. Outside, Ghost Rider finally appeared. Kerrigan immediately shot Ghost Rider with a bazooka causing a big explosion but Ghost Rider was still okay. Ghost Rider then went on a rampage slashing and destroying enemies one by one. Kerrigan shot him one more time, but Ghost Rider was still able to rise. Ghost Rider then climbed atop a giant machine and caused it to emit fire. Ghost Rider moved the machine to destroy the surroundings. Ghost Rider then chased after Nadia, who was fleeing with Danny. Just as Ghost Rider was about to harm Nadia, Danny suddenly commanded Ghost Rider to stop. Unexpectedly, Danny's order made Johnny regain his consciousness. The next day, Johnny invited Danny and Nadia for breakfast. Jody intended to take Danny to a safe place as directed by Moro. Within the mining area, Work arrives to see the dying Kerrigan. Kerrigan then heals the wounds on his body and grants him power. Every living thing Kerrigan touches decays. Kerrigan immediately kills one of the officers present and steals an ambulance to chase after Danny. Elsewhere, on their way, Johnny and the others meet Moro. They drive towards the ancient temple where Moro's master resides. They walk through hills filled with many strange caves. Here, Moro meets his master. Moro then instructs Nadia to dress up and obey his master's commands because they are now safe. Meanwhile, Moro will take Johnny to another place to perform a ritual. The purpose of the ritual is to extract the Ghost Rider's spirit from Johnny's body. Inside a cave, Johnny asks Moro about the origin of Ghost Rider. Moro replies that Ghost Rider was originally the spirit of an avenging angel named Serathos, who was sent to Earth to protect humans. However, someone deceived him and sent him to Hell. This event turned Serathos into a vengeful spirit. Moro then instructed Johnny to enter the ritual room. Inside, Johnny suddenly felt pain and his body started reacting. Eventually, the spirit of Ghost Rider emerged from him. After Johnny regained consciousness, he walked outside. However, it appeared deserted outside. Johnny then heard screams. It turned out that Guru Moro had arrested Moro and Nadia and was about to kill Danny. According to him, Danny was a demon's descendant who must be eliminated. Here, Moro posed what his mentor was about to do. When Danny was about to be executed, Kerrigan suddenly arrived and made everyone at the execution site decay, including Guru Moro. Kerrigan then stole Danny from the place. Later in the afternoon, after examining the execution site, Johnny realized that this was the deed of a demon's minions. Johnny needed clarification about what the demon wanted from Danny. Moro explained that tomorrow is the day when the ritual will be performed after Danny reaches adulthood. The devil will leave his old, weak body and enter the body of the one who harbors all his power. This will enable the devil to do anything on earth. The devil will no longer need to make deals with humans to be able to rule the earth. Moro knows where the devil will perform this ritual. Johnny, feeling guilty for his selfishness, has put Danny in danger. He intends to rescue Danny even though he now lacks the power of the Ghost Rider. In a temple in Turkey, they hand Danny over to Rourke. Elsewhere, Moro's brings Johnny and Nadia into the armory to prepare for an assault. Inside the temple, Rourke tells Danny that he and Danny are the same. The difference is that the body he currently possesses is very weak and powerless, unlike Danny, who has had the DNA of a demon since birth. Rourke then sedates Danny until he passes out. Meanwhile, Johnny and the others have now arrived in front of the temple. They see many world dignitaries attending the ritual that the devil is about to perform. As night falls, Danny is brought to the altar ready to perform the ritual. Outside, Nadia shoots the enemies one by one while Johnny and Moro sneak in. They split up. Johnny seeks a view of Danny from a distance. Just as Rourke is about to transfer his demon spirit into Danny's body, Moro appears, shooting the devil's followers. Johnny then comes out and strikes Rourke. When Johnny is about to save Danny, it turns out Danny is being possessed by the demon. Rourke immediately threw Johnny away. From above, Kerrigan came and decayed Moro's body until he was dead. When Kerrigan touched Johnny's body to kill him, suddenly Danny rose. His consciousness had returned. He realized he had the same power as his father. Danny then reversed the power of Ghost Rider into Johnny's body. Johnny went on a rampage and beat up everyone there. As the sun began to rise, Rourke escaped with Danny in a car. Ghost Rider immediately got on his motorcycle and chased Rourke. A chase on the streets ensued. Ghost Rider took over one of the trucks and turned it into a fire truck. Ghost Rider rammed the enemy's cars one by one. Meanwhile, behind them, Kerrigan tried to catch Nadia. Seeing this, Ghost Rider immediately pulled Kerrigan with a chain. The two of them fought on top of a car. Ghost Rider forced Kerrigan to look into his eyes, and it immediately incinerated Kerrigan. Ghost Rider then continued the chase and overturned the car driven by Rourke. Seeing Rourke trying to crawl out, 
Ghost Rider immediately caught him. Ghost Rider then slammed Rourke through the earth, sending him back to hell. Ghost Rider then carried Danny, bringing him back to Nadia's embrace. Johnny regained his consciousness. Johnny remembered Moro's words that the spirit of Ghost Rider was once an angel who defended justice. Now Johnny could feel that his power came from that angel itself. The fire on Johnny's body turned blue and thus ended the story of the movie Ghost Rider, Spirit of Vengeance.